this is don't like it. We're entertainers. We're not janitors. Yeah, but did you see that guy that was in the elevator with us? Yeah. One of the biggest agents in show business. Oh, who is it? Swifty Lazar? No, he's even swifter than Swifty. Mitch Umrolan is his name. I don't care who he is. I don't want to do another restroom. Well, I'm an entertainer. I, I can perform. I, I can make people laugh. I can sell. I don't want to do this janitor. I know, but this is a cleaning agent. We need an agent that cleans up. Come on. We should be cleaning up on award shows, not office buildings. You don't like anything. You're the king of bad hey, 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 attitudes. Get, get Ricky Gilly. I, what is his hat? What's the matter with his hat? I don't care. Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton, I don't care who it is. I've got to get somebody for the World Theater. What do you mean Elvis is dead? Nobody told me. I got him booked in Madison next week. I need somebody for the World Theater, and I need him today. What do you mean? I didn't know that. No, Elvis is dead, huh? Boy, what am I gonna do? I don't know what to do. Listen, we can do it. Hey, we can do it. Just We've got it. We've got it. We'll it's, kill. Wait. We'll kill. You won't be sorry. You, you won't be sorry. We won't let you down. It's great. We could do it. Wait. All right. All right. I'm gonna give you one shot. But if you blow out this shot, you'll never work in this town again. You won't. All right. You this will be great. You won't be Gentlemen, would you welcome the Indian and the white guy, Williams and Reed. some songs to sing and some things to say and before we go much farther we do what are you doing now i'm sorry i thought we were back in the camper hey. yeah. yes just, we're happy campers just knock it off from the ky jellystone campground we're yeah. always hey boo boo when I, oh yogi we're always thrilled when we return to the beautiful uh, the beautiful minnesota area I want to do a song for you, and this is probably the first song that I ever learned on the reservations of South Dakota many, many moons ago. What's that? One little, two little, three little Indians. <laughs> or, or is it, how much is that doggy in the window? I'm really quite hungry, you see. <laughs> it's a love song, and I hope that some of you might enjoy it. It goes like this. On the banks of the river, sit running there, young Indian breed. On the other side of the river, sit his lovely Indian name. Little white dog, was her name? Such a lovely sight to see. But the tribe fought with each other, and the love could never be. A little white dog. I'm rowing. Waiting on the other circle, side. Circle, 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 circle. In the moonlight, you can see her. Her wings are dancing. Everybody walk the dinosaur. The little high was raining faster.
jumped in the water. Hey. And their lips met the raging river Pull them down, now they'll always be together In the happy hiding ground Around a man, lovely white dove With a love as big as it's big as the sky Around a man, lovely white dove With a love that never dies Salafena on drums. Tommy on drums. Eddie Seathrough on keyboards. Keyboards. On lead guitar, Little Dicky Window. Little Dicky Window. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs> I just thought I'd do that oh, yeah. with the cameras. It there, really you know. threw the camera crew off, too. They're going, well, yeah. are, are we going to commercial? <laughs> it, there's no commercials in this. Oh, no, no commercials. Commercial. We're going this straight is, through. This is it. We're firing right out. Right. Right. Let's try this QB right here. <laughs> okay. Since my baby left me, I found a new place as well. And at the end of Lonely Street, it's Super 8 Motel. I've been so lonely. Oh, oh, oh. I like to do that old tune. You know, a lot of people tell me I look like Elvis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just before he died. But you it know who you really look like? <laughs> Boy, you look so like, hot for my Golden Burger King. You know who you really look like? That guy in that old show, uh, remember oh, Hawaii uh, 5 -0? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, McGarrett. McGarrett, yeah. <laughs> Book him, Dano! Oh. Yeah. Jack Lord, Jack Lord, remember him? him? Had hair out here. No, not him, the other guy. The Hawaiian guy, remember? Zulu as Kono, remember him? Kem Fong as Chin Ho, same guy. He had one line on every Hawaii 5 -0. I don't know, Steve. <laughs> I lost him. <laughs> and you know who people really say you remind him of? Who is that now? Wayne Newton. Oh, Cousin Wayne. That's Cousin he, Wayne. He had a little mustache. Well, I want some red roses for a blue lady. You even sound like him. Yeah, I'll tell you. Really Boy, you're sweating like a Libyan pilot. You right know, now. as we <laughs> do you know the difference between toilet paper and a shower curtain? No. So you're the one. <laughs> I looked at you. Suspected you all along. The shower curtain is more absorbent. Wait, wait. Gonna have to keep ripping it off the roll. Well, anyway, I mean, what a... Just stand a little higher each time. What a fun, fun time. Fell off the tub twice. We are going time. to be having here tonight. We've got some... Brace myself on a bar. Some songs to, to sing and some things to say. I want to do this right here, right here. Okay, right here. I know you're playing that one. This is Pete's favorite song. I know the South Dakota Public TV guys really like the tune. Check out the Indian's fingers in that never leaves his hands when he plays this song. He's really picking out a tune on his little guitar. I was wandering through a Texas border town. Another guy with plenty of time. She was wandering too, and then her eyes met mine. That panhandle town along the Texas borderline. Well, the night was cold and dreary, and the rain was falling. Shit was falling fast. I was getting weary because I left my little dearie in a town I pass, and I never more run from this border town. I'll marry that girl, and there I settle down. Oh. Deep within my heart lies a melody, a song. Of old San Antonio, where in dreams I live with a memory beneath the stars I know. It was there I found beside the Alamo, enchanting strangers blue up above a moonlit path that only she would know. Till here my broken. 
broken song of love. Moon and all your splendor. When do the checks get here? We <laughs> Just a wild stab is what it was. You know, Bruce, I've often said we'd been a lot better off if your mother would have just held her water and drowned you. <laughs> Not a very smart well, She point. tried, but we had Culligan. We are glad that you were here. Too much salt around the room. We had margaritas We've got day. some songs to sing and some things to say. We have three more songs, then we must start repeating. No, so we're gonna do no, the next no, that is not true, you little pervert. You know <laughs> we have got songs to sing and things to say. Exactly. I want to do something very special just to kind of st start well, off. I was thinking right. we ought to maybe instruct this uh, crowd on how... when some white yuppie executive oh. in Detroit oh. decided that Chief Pontiac was no longer necessary as the hood ornament of the Pontiac car. Good point. Remember those old Pontiacs when Chief Pontiac lit up the hood of that car yeah. and you knew it was a Pontiac because Chief Pontiac lit up the hood of that car and you could see him coming for miles and miles and miles and you knew it was a Pontiac. Yes. You didn't have to say, is that an Oldsmobile, a Buick, a Chevy, or a Pontiac? You knew it was a Pontiac. Right. That was a sad day for my people. Yeah. And since that day, uh. I drive Fords. Oh, there's a step up. Right. There's a step up. Darn right. <laughs> F-O-R-D. You know what that stands for? Fix or repair daily. No, no, no. <laughs> Found on road dead. No, no, no. <laughs> That's if you got a normal one. Yeah. If you got a good one, it's first on race day. Ah, uh, how about found on reservation dump? Did you... <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that every car, no matter what it is, the letters of that car actually stand for something? That's true, Cal. Like Ford, F-O-R-D? Flimsy old rebuilt Dodge. There's, a, <laughs> there's another one, Dodge. What is that one? Them old dudes go everywhere. Uh-huh. Every car, even the one you drive, may be a Pinto. I used to have a Pinto. Pinto, what is that? One? Put in new transmission often. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> a breakdown. They'll though. stop on you, too. And, and the, the, the truckers, too, like GMC. Got mechanic coming. Oh, yeah. Or AMC. Ain't my car. Yeah, every yeah. car. Even the imports, the foreign cars, used to be, uh, used to be Datsun. Right. They've changed it to Nissan. 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 Needs improvement, so start again, Nipponese. Oh, oh, oh back to the boy. Wait a minute. Oh, and, and Toyota. 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 Too often Yankees overprice this auto. Oh, that's way too much. Oh, way too much. Oh, oh and Fiat. 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 Fix it again, Tony. Oh, no, hey. yes. Oh, and we forgot Buick. 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 Barfed up icky caramel corn. Yes. I couldn't think oh. of anything else. Oh, and if you go to Southern California, there's a car there they call a Chevy. 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 A Chicano hooker, eager but young. Oh, yes. But my favorite. 
My favorite of all time has got to be Pontiac. 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 That's poor old Negro thinks it's a Cadillac. Oh, oh yeah. we're all the same. We're all the same. We certainly don't mean to talk. We off. could have said Norwegians, and none of you would have got it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> We certainly don't mean to upset any of the managers from Baker Square. No, no, no. Now, I want to take another another survey here. How many of you people here tonight have seen us before? Just applaud if you have seen us before. Whether it was television, concert, small, out of the way dive. How many of you then have never seen us, have no idea who we are or why you're wasting your time now? Just applaud if you... How many have seen the Indian or someone like him near their car with a coat hanger? No, no. Now, just quickly, for those of you who have never seen us, yep. again, we are Williams and Ree, sometimes referred to as the Indian and the white guy. I'm the Indian. I've been kind of sick. We are, li <laughs> we are live and direct from Spearfish, South Dakota. Yeah. South Dakota is the home of my people, the Great Sioux Nation. I'm Bruce, and San Francisco is the home of my people, uh -huh. the Great Bruce Nation. Yes. <laughs> And we still haven't been able to figure out why he's losing so much weight so rapidly. Nonetheless, everyone in the hot tub and bring your crankbait. We travel. We, we travel all over this country. <laughs> all over this world. All over the world. Canada and the United States, just to name a few. And wherever we go, we tell people that no matter what we say or do, yes. please remember one thing. What's that? We are all the same. Exactly. That's right. No matter what we say or it's do, America. we are all the same. Yeah, I'm Indian. Right. You're white. Caucasian. Caucasian, honky, same damn thing. You know who you are. You know what you've done. Let's not bring the geese into this. I said nothing about geese. You just said honkers. I said honky. Okay, small ones are too young to fly. No, Leave me alone. no. No. Huh? Honky is a slang term we use for white people. Oh, pardon me, wagon burner. Yeah. <laughs> I can sling some slang there, slang. Well, slang. anyway, this is the type of thing we're going to be doing here tonight. But again, we ask you to please remember we are all the same. And we are indeed all the same. Indians, Everybody. whites, blacks, orientals, Mexicans. 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 Well. <laughs> We are sorted, he said. Now, again, that's just a little joke. Certainly don't want to talk off the snack bar staff. That's here. just a little joke. We kid our Mexican brothers, but Lord knows you couldn't operate a carnival without them. I want to do... I want to do something very... Who would spin the tilt off world? Very special. <laughs> We are Flintstones kids, 10 million strong and growing. We are Flintstones kids, the Indians' cheeks are glowing. Boy, you did get some, got some sun out there today. We would like to mention that my clothes tonight are from Bob's Clothing for the Questionable Male in Little Canada, Minnesota. Uh, the Indians' clothes were a government grant from you folks. Thank you so, thank so you. much. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure to return to Minnesota, liberal-minded people that can understand that sort of thing. And when, whatever, the first, uh, the, I believe they were the first in the nation to, to uh, have no smoking areas. Yes. They were the first in the nation right. to not, to insist that everyone buckle up for safety. Exactly. They were the first in the nation to serve Ludafisk at a prom. That's right. That's right. And literally stink the whole place up. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing. I can't understand how you Put people... your hand in some of this lie. Oh, oh yes. yes. That's all right. That's yes. all right. But it's fun. I want to take a moment or two, Bruce. Yeah. A lot of these people mm. are not familiar with my people, the Great Sioux Nation. Well, I think I'd that's like to take a moment or two here tonight. <laughs> Bruce, if you don't mind, I would like to take a moment or two here tonight and say just a few words in my native tongue. Oh, okay. I would like to speak some Sioux for yeah. all of these people here well, tonight. We could would actually you go, go out to a little six bingo and probably hear basically the same conversation. Can you just go ahead and, and set that up? Give me a little intro. Well, if I'd have known that you were going to yeah. get all Give me a little intro. Tell them what I'm going to do. You don't have to get... Tell them what I'm going to do. <laughs> Quickly. Quickly now. Keep it moving. Senator, I knew nothing about any aid to the Contras. I knew... <laughs> What are you going to do? Some, some soup? As you know, my partner is full-blown sewage. Not too long ago. Three quarters, excuse me. 
the other quarter, Sue Booster. You know, a while back, we were working in an all-Indian bar mitzvah at UCLA. UCLA, that's University of Chanhassen by the lake almost. And we found out that my partner was the only one who could speak Sui. She came out, there were four or five judges sitting around the swimming pool. Excuse when me. the Indian dove in, all Excuse of a sudden, me. all this algae popped You've out. You've made there, went, just a oh, couple of goodness. errors so far. I was just trying to cover for you. If you, you don't mind, you I would like to correct you. You've made just a couple of errors so well, far. First of all, you said that I am going to speak Sui. That is incorrect, my friend. I am going to speak Sioux. I said that. No, no. What you said was Sioux-ish. I speak Sioux. A big diff. <laughs> Quite a bit of diff, son. Son? I am abbreviating. Okay. <laughs> I would like to take a moment or well, two. Well, I just added the I-S-H at the end, making it of and pertaining to a Sioux. Yes, but what you don't understand. <laughs> like in the dictionary, it'd be like, oven pertaining to a Jew is Jewish. That's correct, huh? yes. yes. Oven pertaining to a, a Pole would be Polish. That's correct also. Oven pertaining to corned beef, hashish. So oven <laughs> pertaining to the Sioux. Listen to what I'm saying, boy. Of oh. and pertaining oh. to the Sioux oh. is still Sioux. I got a zit. When in reference to me or my people, please use the term Sioux. Thank you. Ooh. Sioux, sorry. I'm going to speak some Sioux here tonight for all of you. All right, Taco Breath will speak some Sioux. I will translate into my native tongue, English. Fine. Whoops, Fine. I guess I mean Engel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going... I'm going to speak some Sioux here tonight for all of you. If perchance you understand what I'm saying, mm. feel free to translate. Go slowish. <laughs> How oh, cola. How's your cola? All right, that was easy. It's not what I said. Bend to the snack bar. That is not what I said. Hmm. I said how cola. There it is. How means hello. Hello to everyone sucking up a cola. No, oh. uh, no. Universal language. No. Huh? How means hello. Cola is friend. Friend? How cola? <laughs> hello, friend. In Sioux? Yes. Uncola would be enemy. <laughs> Diet cola would be a fat friend. <laughs> Cherry cola. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> How cola? Wana ata lila wash day. Wash day. Wash day. Must be Sue for Monday. No. That's wash day. No. Yeah. I did not say wash day like some white kid would say wash day. Pinata. I said <laughs> wash day. Wash day. Wash day. You put an accent on the day. Yes. Like the clothes are filthy. Yeah. <laughs> Get out the oxidol. No! I am not talking about laundry. You're talking about laundry. No! <laughs> wash day. Yes. Wash day. Scissors. Wash day. Paper. One word means good. Good. It's wash day. Clean shorts. No, no, no. What? The crowd is wash day. The crowd is short? No. You're tiny. No. Little. Wash day in Sioux means good. Let the Indian run with the ball. Uh-huh. Yes. The crowd is wash day. The crowd is good. Yes. Turn the record over to learn another word. All right. All right. <laughs> Listen to this. The crowd is lila wash day. Lila wash day. You brought a whole other character in there. Lila wash day. Yeah? Lila? Uh-huh. Yeah. No, no, no. Lila wash day means very good. I thought, it, oh, it's a modifier. Uh huh. Like, leel a good crowd at the world. Uh huh. <laughs> I have a word for you. Me? In Sioux, you are hokshila. 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 Stud. No. no. <laughs> stud finder. No. Studebaker. No. Hokshila means boy. Boy, hand me that stud finder. No, right? no, no. There's wood there. You are hokshila. Wash day. What? A boy. Good boy. Boy. Oh, you good boy too. No, no. Mm. Oh, it comes off. No, no, me. <laughs> me, Oxilla. Uh, Tonka. 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 Truck boy. No. Toy boy. No. Toy poodle. No. Transformer. No. Tonka means big. Big boy. Big boy. Takes a big boy to handle a big load on wash day. <laughs> Pilamaha. Kawasaki. No, no, no. I said Pilamaha. I thought you said Yamaha. I know what you thought I said. <laughs> It's, it's quite obvious you are not bilingual. I prefer girls. Bilingual. What's that? More than one language. I guess I'm homolingual. Pardon I, me? Uh, 
I learned another language at home. Of course, making you homolingual. Homolingual. What language did you learn at home? Chippewa. You speak Chippewa. Uh -huh. Say something in Chippewa for all these nice folks tonight. Mukolo chinzo. McCulloch Chainsaw? <laughs> what does that mean? Buzz off, Beaver Brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't apologize, I do apologize, folks. It's quite obvious. The man doesn't want you to get off. Ran into a knot hole there. It's quite obvious. The man does not Could've speak knocked in Knocked off that small branch. There is something that he does excel in. Looks like he got Dutch Elm disease. And I would like to... And I would like to, at this time, starting to peel. formally introduce to you my partner, Mr. Bruce Williams, as he now steps center stage and does for you. Here, Indian, we trade. You give me your lend, I give you this guitar. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's how it happened, wasn't it? I threw in a couple of Kit Kat. I, at this time, okay. would like to formally introduce to you my partner, Mr. Bruce Williams, as he now steps center stage and does for you an original composition. No. Mr. Bruce Williams no. with an original composition. I'm going to do one I wrote. That's what I said. That's a beautiful song that I wrote. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is a beautiful song that I wrote. Thank you very much. Sing along if you know it. <laughs> you chopped my finger off And the ring that was on it Fell off and down into your underwear I thought I'd found the ring But the very next thing I remember I was decked in on It's real empty when you lay out like that. Once again, <laughs> Mr. Bruce Williams with an original composition. Well, I was going to do that number, but you just uh, bowed out. It's a beautiful song that I wrote. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah, ah, just kidding. <laughs> White man, steal your thunder. <laughs> this is a beautiful song that I wrote. Thank you very much. Beautiful song that I wrote. Thank you very much. The Indian wrote that part, right? There. Thank you. I love fat women. Thank you. They're warm in the winter and shady in the summer. Uh huh. When you lay down beside them, you automatically roll towards them. So getting together ain't never a problem, you see. I love fat women, yeah. If you get one with tattoos, you have moving pictures. It's so great to go to the drive-in, and I never have to leave our house. Check out the snack bar, what a selection. Pay no attention to the Indian. He's had some wine, and he's probably tripping. Stop the music. I didn't even get to the gummy bear part, where everyone gets to chew along in German. I do not feel comfortable with you huh? coming out here doing a song called I Love Fat Women. Oh, you don't, you don't feel comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> Who died and made you chief all of a sudden that you can make these decisions, huh? I do not think it is. You've ruined my first song. I do and not. Is I do not think it is right for you to come out here hey. and do a song called I Love Fat well, Women. We at least First of all, buckle, yeah. you're embarrassing me. Well, who's going to know if you turn red? <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, Pally Wally, yep. you cannot come out here and do a song called I Love Fat Women. Fat is offensive, and you may be offending some of the fat broads oh, here at the show tonight. Broads. Fat. Broads. Fat. Hey, fat. You, you, should fat. you should never, never say fat. Never, never, never say fat. Never. You could say, you could say, I love robust. Oh. 
Well, of all the parts. No, 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 no. Well, yeah. parts is parts. No, no, no. You, you could say, I love larger women. I could be the frosted Lucky Charms leprechaun, too. I could say, I like them a mite meatier. Oh, green clovers, pink hearts, red Indians. I'll disguise myself as a Dexatrim. <laughs> She'll never find me in the cubby hole. But now there's new Sancheros. Sancheros light and crispy because they're made by Picanho Keebleros. Make you feel at home every time you fall through the porch. <laughs> Lit up a smoke and curse the desert deep. He stopped beside a cactus plant just to... No, we can't do that. I thought we were on Hennepin there for a minute. <laughs> I'll tell you now, what a grand crowd we've got here tonight. Huh? Manly, yes, but I like them too. Ah, and you should potato head for you smell like a horse now. Well, you're a strong finisher, Brian. Hey, am I too strong, am I tired? Well, bend over and pick up that bar of Irish Spring fall up there, lad. Why's that now? I'll show you where the hills of Killarney are. Ah. <laughs> Irish eyes are smiling, short is like a morning spring. With the lift of Irish laughter, you can hear the end. Sing who in Irish hearts are happy. All the world seems bright and gay. Whoa. But when Irish boys are smiling, sure they'll steal your heart. Oh. You got a little sun today. Your nose is a little red there. My lips are on fire. <laughs> if anyone has any of that lip douche, I could use some of that, uh, some of that, uh, what is that? Vaseline or what, anything. They are on fire right now. My lips, feels like the Indian has tied me in the sun for several days and put ants on my lips. Please. You played so well, though. You parred a hole. I parred one hole. <laughs> <laughs> there, wait a minute. Oh, right down there. Right down there, there's some. What? Oh, there's some right there. Right there. There's one back there. Okay. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Let's check it out. There. I would use that. It might be good. <laughs> you, might say, you might say someone might have white-lipped that. Yeah. <laughs> This thing has got a sore already on it. <laughs> the way to avoid that is you crank that sucker out all the way here, and then you just get the side. playing my guitar. <laughs> Honey, it fell out again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're doing that like you might catch something. Well, yeah, you never know. Where did this come from? No one saw where it came from. It was just thrown up here. Well, it could have been someone that. going, I'll throw mine. <laughs> He needs some lip douche. Here's mine. <laughs> oh, this sucker won't crank down now either. I've, I've gimped the sides of it. Oh, that. I can already feel it starting to work. You know. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. 
Well, let's see, what haven't we done? Does anybody have any favorites? Swing it. What? Are you a swinging crowd? No, no, no. No, oh, it's no. not a swinging crowd. Are you a swinging crowd? Some people think we're crazy, but that's just what they say. It's me and the Indian at the World Theater today, just a swinging. <laughs> yeah, we're swinging. Swinging! I swing a little lower than the Indian, don't you know? And if we measure to the kneecap, we've got plenty. Don't ever get to jump out. Apparently, he's so confused about the metric system, well, you know. Here's a little song I wrote yeah. for the guy in the beaded coat. Don't yeah. worry. Be Indian. <laughs> he could use a little helping hand. Somebody took all his land. Don't worry. <laughs> Be Indian. Not a lot that he can do. A dog he pooped in his canoe. Don't worry. <laughs> Be Indian. I didn't like you people when I knew you had nothing better to do on Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> they want to hear you sing one. What? You want to hear one? You want yeah. to I'll oh, sing one. Sing one of them Indian songs. Would you join me? Oh, yeah. Yes. How many times have you been sitting around a hot sterno log at home and said, honey, Where's that Indian Dirty Dancing album? Well, now Ronco Gaytel makes it possible for you to dance in complete safety with Mohawk Rock, 747 of your favorite Indian religio Stevie Wonder Bear. Whoops, my head is shaped like Patrick Swayze hits on a 92 album set. You get such golden oldies as that disco style rocker squalls along the Yukon. Go, 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 which means that I love you. If you will be my Ushka, I'll be good. And who can forget when I'm calling you? By Blinky and the Trap Gas, plus this. Red sails in the sunset. And the Indian National Anthem. This land ain't your land. This land is my land. Get the hell off my land. Go find your own land. This land ain't your land. This land is my land. This land was made for Sue, not you. Yes, don't delay. <laughs> do it today. Sir, no money. We'll bill you later. Operators are standing in Fridley. If you order now, we'll include the free Indian patty stacker. Your hands need never touch the meat. And if you order tonight before midnight, you will also receive... A free cassette containing 12 Indian breakdance songs. Yes, Indian breakdancing, where Indians dance for a little while and then take a break, of up to seven to eight years. But mostly, they're just standing around popping and a-scratching anyway, so a couple extra head spins wouldn't hurt. White kids could swim laps on your upper lip right now. <laughs> I've got a couple more years on you, babe, and that's all. I've had more chances to fly, more places to fall. It ain't that I'm wiser. It's only that I've spent more time with my back to the wall And I've picked up a couple more years on you, babe And that's all I've walked a couple more roads than you, babe And that's all And 
I'm tired of running while you're only learning to crawl. You're heading somewhere, but I've been to somewhere and found it was nowhere at all. And I picked up a couple more years on your back, and that's all. Say, and I picked up a couple more years on your bed, that's all. Yeah, I've got a couple more years on your bed, and that's all. Mickey has slipped off one glove already and is We're out of here. For you the folks have been absolutely fantastic. We do thank you for stopping by. Thanks We're going to leave you with a song that we wrote one time as we journeyed from our home state of South Dakota, headed west. We left South Dakota and drove out across Wyoming. Anyone here from Wyoming? 
course not. Wyoming sucks, always has, always will. We got no, it's a beautiful state. One young lady down here from Wyoming. Yes, Where sir. in Wyoming, ma'am, were you We're from? <laughs> Apparently, she was just crazed for just a moment I and not know. from Wyoming. <laughs> we got across Wyoming and pulled into Utah. Provo. Provo, Utah. We stopped at this convenience store. It was an Iranian-owned, Osmond-operated 7-Eleven. Exactly. <laughs> exactly what it was. We went into this little stop and rob to get ourselves some Hostess cream-filled cupcakes. That's a nutritional plan that works for old two dogs. That's right. We went in to get some Hostess cream-filled cupcakes. They had none. We got torqued off. They had no Hostess cream-filled cupcakes. The Indian looked like swag. They had everything else. But no hostess cream filled cupcakes. So we got real torqued off. We headed outside. The Indian looked down. He saw some litter on the ground, and a tear came from one of his eyes. This is a sad song. <laughs> Listen carefully to the lyrics of this song. It'll bring a tear to your eye. You might even touch cloth. One, tear, one, two, three, four. <laughs> sad song. Listen carefully to the lyrics of this song. It'll bring a tear to your eye. Boy, what a dream I had. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, four. He was eating Twinkies as he drove along the highway, listening to the DJ play Merle Haggard and his band. He didn't see the semi as he came around the corner, and he died with his ding-dong in his hand. Yes, he died with his ding dong in his hand. He scattered cream filled cupcakes across the land. One of life's great big no nos. He was reaching for his ho hos, but he died with his ding dong in his hand. Indian. There was a country singer who was eating singers as he sang with the red hot country band. The land was really smoking. Singers started choking, and he died with his ding dong in his hand. Yes, he died with his ding dong in his hand. In his hand. The last song he sang was really grand. Oh, he thought he was the mostest till he bit that big black hostess, and he died with his ding dong in his hand. Everybody sing! Yes, he died with his ding dong in his hand. Scattered green bill cupcakes cross the land. I hope and I pray. That when I reach that fateful day, he, he, he. <laughs> I will die with a great big humongous ding dong. Or a severely large Susie Q. Maybe some of them powdered donuts that they leave out on the shelf at the tank and tummy for about 12 years. In
right, all right, all right. Mitch, what'd you think of that? Baby, we rocked him, huh? We love it. Yeah, it was great. It was that great. Crowd, it was great. I couldn't believe it. Everybody loved you, guys. Everybody loved you, guys. You know what was with that? I uh, didn't yeah, know. Yeah, Have I you got another it. job for us? That's I'll tell you what. We want to go. From here, it's... You can't oh, no. down. What? What? The executive washroom. I'm going to put you guys at the top of the executive washroom level. You're going to clean all the executive washrooms in my corporation. How do you think of that? How do you think of that? We're out of here. We're walking. We don't need guys, this kind I'm of work. You, this we're is a great we're deal professional for you. entertainers. This is a great we don't need deal it. for you.